You did try to do a virtual market and yes, I did. Man, it was it was awkward as hell. Um, again, because it's, it's a brand new format as a concept. So we were all just kind of feeling around in the dark trying to do this. So I looked at what a couple other people were doing and some of those markets hadn't even gone live yet. So I was just like extrapolating what they were talking about. Yeah. And what I came to the conclusion was that if you did it for like a single day or only a couple of days, that would be presuming a lot about people's schedule and availability or finances. Yeah. So I thought that like running the event for too short a time wouldn't give people enough time to get the exposure that they wanted. So I knew right away that like we needed to run this for a long time frame, two, three weeks. And not only does that give me time to post about more people, it allows me to post more about each individual person. Oh. So instead of like, cause if we're running for like two weeks and I post about you one time, then like people are going to forget about you a week or never even know that I posted about you. But if I run on the show for 50 or 60 people for three weeks, I can post about you three, four or five times a week. And yeah. that's going to make sure that everybody gets that visibility and exposure they're looking for. So I knew that that kind of format was going to be really, really important. I knew that like, it was really important to be able to work with people that had like simple, easy communication methods. So whatever the best way to reach you was, I needed to know what that was so I could talk about it and post that information okay. when I mentioned you. Because not everybody has a Facebook page, but I still need to be able to post about you on Facebook. But like, oh, you only use your email? Well, then tell me what your email is because I want people to be able to find you. Right. So making sure I had really up-to-date, current, effective contact information, making sure I post about people on a really frequent, consistent basis, which is actually something that informed all my promotion uh, strategy going forward. Even though I do in-person events now, I find that scheduling and organizing and arranging posts far in advance makes my life way less stressful. And that's something that I inadvertently learned by doing these web markets. It, you need people to like have images that I can post to talk about your stuff. Some people wanted to do videos. Some people wanted to do other formats. So I had to be able to work with everybody to do what made the most sense for us. But I found the best thing to do was three to five images. Show me a decent cross section of your product catalog, the different things you have available. And then post passionately. Yeah. Right. A really engaged, interested post about why I think this is really interesting or why I think you'll find a lot of value in this posting and boosting posts pretty periodically. Like I would usually make an ad post that I would run for two weeks and I would usually have two of those overlapping for the entire length of the event. OK. And that really helped get a lot more engagement as well. Yeah. And you would target those posts to the region around Madison. Yep. So I had. I will always have one ad that was specifically Madison. Mm -hmm. And then I have another general post that was intended to reach Wisconsin in general. Oh, okay. So you do actually go for the whole state. Yeah. Okay. I think it's really important to try to reach, especially with the web market. It was really important to try to reach a broader audience because now I have access to people that can't drive to Madison, but right. that won't anyway, that don't need to. Yeah. So like, why not advertise to you if you all you have to do is click on a link to buy this person's stuff. Thank you.